car. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. You see the car? Go to the next page. It's a horsey. Yay! What does a horsey say? Good morning guys and happy Thursday. It's Thursday, August 12th, so welcome to day 12 of Vlogist. <coughs> Me and Nora have had such a lovely, wonderful morning. It started off with her sleeping in until 8.30, which meant that I got to lay in bed until 8.30. <laughs> a lot of mornings I am up way earlier anyway because I just struggle to sleep right now, but I slept really well last night, so we're just feeling well rested and happy and we ate breakfast together and I'm just taking all my morning vitamins and getting all that finished. And I'm actually working on my meal plan for next week. I'm taking a friend and her family who just had a baby dinner this coming Sunday night. So I wanted to put a little extra thought into it, especially because their family is dairy free, soy free and nut free. And so I wanted to make sure to really think through what to make them. Um, and I wanted to make them something that I have made before. I wanted to try to find a recipe that's like a tried and true favorite of ours that happens to be dairy, soy, and nut free rather than, I spent some time yesterday looking online for recipes in those categories, but I've never tried those recipes and I'm like, I don't wanna make them something that's not gonna end up being good. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is make the chili that I make all the time. Um, which is a bit more of a fall meal, but everybody's ready for fall, right? And the kids go back to school, I think, around here today, or they went yesterday. Um, so we can just pretend like it's fall. So I think I'm going to make them chili, which is just naturally dairy, soy, and nut-free. That's something I've learned from my friends with food allergies. They've told me um, that although many of them have found recipes... <laughs> Nora, Nora, you can't pick Charlie up. <laughs> Don't pick Charlie up. <laughs> trying to pick up the dog, um, is that if you really want to find great recipes, it's easier to, typically, what I've heard, is that typically recipes that just already are like naturally occurring, allergy-friendly recipes tend to be better than when you're trying to make something that's usually full of allergens and you're replacing it with allergy-friendly ingredients because then it just changes the flavor and taste so much, which totally makes sense to me. So I'm gonna make them some allergy-friendly cornbread and then do chili and then um, bring all different kinds of chili toppings and then do a whole bunch of roasted vegetables, um, like roasted sweet potatoes and green beans and things like that. I think that sounds like a really good meal and it makes a lot and so they could eat. Okay, one second, baby. They could eat off of it for a few days. So anyway, that's what I've been up to this morning. After we finished breakfast, Nora's been kind of playing, trying to pick up the dog, and I, and I have been meal planning. Hey guys, I thought I would chat with you. I'm washing my face. Well, I just washed my face. Just getting ready for the day. Nora's in the other room watching cartoons, which is very much our normal morning routine. <laughs> After we do breakfast and I get her dressed, she knows she gets a little TV time so that mama can have 20 minutes or so to pull herself together for the day. So today's kind of a weird day because um, Riley is taking a half day. He'll be home in the next, I don't actually know what time it is. He'll probably be home in the next 90 minutes or so. and. Um, he went in early this morning, and then he is coming back to spend the afternoon with Nora. He'll probably bring his laptop and see if he can get some of his work done. I'm sorry, this is not the best angle, but I'm trying to rig up something right now, and just don't really feel like doing that, so I have you sitting on my shelf. Um, he'll probably bring his laptop home so he can get some work done, but he's relieving me to go up and sort 
garments because he said I have, I think he said six more boxes came in. And we already had six or eight up there and then I ordered quite a few more last night that will be there tomorrow. So point is, I've got some definite work ahead of me um, and we need to get these things sorted as soon as possible so they can start getting sewn out and um, and screen printed and ready, you know, for shipment to some of y'all. Um, this Tarte Double Duty Beauty face tape foundation situation is the bomb. I love this stuff. I don't normally wear it every day. Normally every day I wear the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I've talked about this 80 times over the years. My shade is 01 Opal. If you have pale fair skin like me, that might be your shade too. Um, but I like now, when I really am like doing it up, I put this on with a beauty blender, but on like a day-to-day -day basis, it just is such a good, like, it, it is a good evener. Hi, Normie, come here. Do you want to say hi? Oh, mwah. can you say hi? She has these cute little curls on the top of her head and then this is all straight. Do you want to brush your teeth? Mm -hmm. Say yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, can mommy put you down? Mm -hmm. Well, I <laughs> kind of need. Uh, can I put you down and give you your toothbrush? Mm -hmm. Okay. She always knows exactly where I am during her little cartoon time and sometimes she comes to visit me so she can brush her teeth. Here you go, baby. Brush your teeth. Brush, brush, brush. Good job. Um, anyway, I don't know what I was talking about. Foundation. I don't usually wear like a super full coverage foundation, uh, on, especially on days like today, but... I don't know, I've been a little bit more into it. Whoa, be careful. Especially because I've been filming every day. And my face is on camera like all day long. Although y'all have seen some rough days where your girl had nothing on her face. Hi. Uh, but I do prefer to at least have some light something if I'm gonna be filming all day. So anyway, Riley's coming home to relieve me. He's doing a half day and then I will um, go work and then come home and he'll probably, I would guess, head up there then himself. Um, back, back up there. So we're playing like tag today. Um, this is Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Love this stuff. Really good for fair skin in the shade light bronzer. That's the thing about having as fair a skin as I have is that it's so easy to choose shades. You just go all the way to the left hand side. No more. We don't eat toothpaste. We just brush our teeth with it. You just go all the way to the left side, whatever the palest shade is. Not always, but 90% of the time. So I'm going to finish getting my makeup on and getting myself pulled together to some small degree for today and then you want to go out there where's your toothbrush can you give me your toothbrush so mommy can put it away okay. thank you here you go bye-bye yeah. wow. um, i'm gonna finish getting myself pulled together like I said, to some small degree, I don't need, it doesn't need to be glamorous. Just so I feel like I'm not a total disaster all day long. And um, I will check in with you guys once I'm ready. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh, whoa. <laughs> She's doing it.
it too. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, so I am all ready now. It's funny, I like did a face of makeup and then I'm in like one of Riley's ratty old oversized t-shirts, but I just want to be super comfortable because this is a pretty physical thing, you know, sorting shirts and picking up, you know, stacks of shirts. They are surprisingly very heavy. Um, like if you think about like a laundry basket, but multiply that by <laughs> quite a few. So anyway, I don't do any actual heavy lifting, but just in terms of constantly leaning over and picking things up and it's Anyway, I want to be comfortable. So I have some of those maternity bike shorts on that I talked about in a video that went up about a week ago. Um, and the title is Pregnancy Essentials. And I have those linked also in my Amazon store, these bike shorts. They are so comfortable. And they have pockets on the side for your phone, which is fantastic. A big oversized t-shirt. My hair's in a bun. I am ready to work. So Riley and I just did the little pass off. <laughs> he came home. He's hanging out with Nor Nor and I am driving up to put my head down and hopefully work and get as much as possible done today. So I think it should be a really good afternoon. Hopefully I can find a good podcast or something to listen to while I work. All right. So I just got up here to start working and pumpkin spice life is sewn and the trucks on the denim blue long sleeve tees are sewn and that some of the hats with the pumpkin trucks are sewn but then i have all of these to sort all all of this and then i was just informed <laughs> that all of these boxes are for me so these two these two these two these three, those four plus the bag on top. So I've got some serious work ahead of me. Let's get cracking. It's a little over an hour in and I have done my first pass um, and gotten probably about a fifth <laughs> a fifth of them sorted so I still have quite all of these have to be sorted there's still quite a lot to do but I'm making really good progress and it's going really well hey guys I am parked downtown out front of my manicurists the salon where she does manicures um, to go get my little bi-weekly. These girls have grown out. I've been digging the neutrals. Um, the time before this one, this one is an OPI color called Mr. and Mrs. Mimosa, and I like it. But the one before this was OPI's Put It In Neutral, and I loved that color. I loved it. It was so natural looking. So my nails are growing super fast right now because I'm on like 18,000 different vitamins and prenatals. And so um, I think I'm gonna get that again because then when they grow out, they still look really good because it's not there's not like a stark difference. So that's that. I also just went over to McDonald's and got a McDonald's Coke. Okay, I it's like actual science. <clears throat> like I'm not being funny. There's like actual reasons why Coca-Cola tastes better coming from McDonald's. Like they chill the syrup. They do the, all these special things. I like saw this whole thing about it. And it is so true. <clears throat> clearly, I am not like chugging soda every day. Maybe not clearly. I'm not chugging soda every day during this pregnancy. But after being on my feet and working for a few hours, I was like, oh my gosh. A McDonald's Coke sounds like it would hit the spot. And guess what? It did. So I went and got a McDonald's Coke. <clears throat> I'm going to get my nails done. She's really quick, so I'll probably be out of there in about 30 to 40 minutes max. And then I'm going to go home, swap places with Riley. He's going to go back up to work. I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon with Norty Bug. And then I think probably when he comes home and is finished this evening, I'm going to go back up there. So we're doing the parent shuffle today to try to get as much work complete as possible. Um, and I know that we will do the, probably the same thing tomorrow and then probably the same thing on Saturday. It's just that time of year. So 
Anyway, that's what I'm up to. I'm going to enjoy a few more sips of this drink, and then I'm going to head in and get my nails finished or done. I just finished getting my nails done. I did get that put it in neutral color again, and this time I got them rounded. They look so pretty. And I just contacted Riley. That sounds so formal. I just called Riley. I'll let you look at my nails. And my ring. It's not real. It's a larger size. It's from the company Mod Gents. Um, and it's like my pregnancy ring, but it's faux diamonds, but it looks pretty real. Don't you think? Um, and he is going to stay with Nora for the rest of the day so that I can finish up my work because he said it's not critical for him to be up there and it's pretty critical for me to be up there. So that's what we're going to do. Hey guys, it's 545 now. I just pulled into our garage. I'm about to go inside and reunite with my sweet family. I'm excited to be done with work for the day. I got about 50% done. I didn't do any time lapses or check-ins this afternoon while I was up there working because it gets a little monotonous filming it. There's like nothing really new to show. I'm just moving garments here, there, and everywhere for hours on end. <laughs> but I got a lot done. I mean, getting 50% done is fantastic. So I might go up and work a little more tomorrow. If not, Saturday morning will be my next available shift. Um, and so we're starting to get, get things cranked out. My goal is to have everything sorted, printed, and embroidered by next Monday or Tuesday so that we can begin to mail it all out so that hopefully by the end of next week, pretty much everything will be on its way to my customers, which is fantastic. I thawed some steaks today, um, this morning. I pulled them out of the freezer that we got in our butcher box yesterday. And Riley said he's going to grill them up. And then I had some potatoes. So I said we can do baked potatoes and steak and green beans or steamed broccoli. Like really pretty simple but delicious and filling meal. So um, he just texted me and said that dinner is underway. So here I am at home. I'm going to go see. It's weird. The roles are reversed today. It's kind of weird. I'm, I've am i been out of the house all day and he's been at home with Nora. Um, so it's been nice, but also kind of strange. So I'm excited to see them. I just got home and Riley's being so cute. He's got dinner fully underway. The candle's even lit. Nora's happily watching Blippi because he said they went outside for hours or something for a while. Yeah. Set the table. So sweet. And then I got these in the mail from Amazon. I use three tea bags every day and so because I'm in my third trimester so you want it to be pretty strong and so I was going through the boxes so quickly so I looked online and it turns out if you buy in bulk you know you get a much much you get a lot more for a lesser price so I'm gonna put these away um, this is like a one month supply which is crazy I did like a little subscribe and save on Amazon so they'll just keep keep coming until he arrives but that's that. How was your day at home with Nora? It's great. You yeah. loved it. Yeah. She being so sweet. We had a good time. Oh. Just is like she has a lot of energy sometimes. Mm. And then sometimes she's really chill. Yeah. Well, after you go outside and play in 100 degree weather. Yeah, we spun around. And I threw up and down. <laughs> we walked around the house and like did chores. <laughs> and then she went to come inside and she's been parked right there. <laughs> she's you wore out. Look at this! He even cut up my steak for me! <laughs> Sorry, it's in a pile. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna watch TV, we're gonna eat dinner. Look what you have. <gasps> Yummy! Yeah! This looks amazing, Riley. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> saying that. You're welcome. Nora, can you say hi? Hi. Hi, sweet pea. Hey guys, it's about 7.30 now. We wrapped up dinner, which was delicious, and I so appreciate Riley taking the reins on that. And then after dinner, I gave Nora a bath, got her ready for bed. She's playing a little bit before we actually put her to bed. We put her down typically around 8 p.m. That tends to work well for our family. Um, I'm here in my bathroom about to brush my teeth and wash my face. I just took my vitamins, so I got all four of my little red checks for the day. <laughs> It's amazing how simple and effective check charts work for me. Um, so I'm going to brush my teeth, wash my face, and put on some PJs. And then actually what I'm going to do is go ahead and complete my meal plan. 
everything makes me out of breath, mostly talking. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna um, get myself ready for bed, do my meal plan. I'll probably show you it briefly just because I know some of you like to kind of see what we're planning um, for the week as far as meals are concerned, and then I'll sign off for the night. All right, I just finished our meal plan for the week, so briefly I will show you what I'm planning. So for Sunday night, I'm doing chili and cornbread, and then for the um, sorry, I'll get my hand out of there because then it will focus a lot. For Sunday night, I'm doing chili and cornbread. I'm going to make a double batch of the chili I always make and a double batch of cornbread so that I can take some to our friends who just had a baby with some toppings. And then um, for them, I'm also going to roast some veggies just to round it out. And then I'm going to make chocolate chip cookies for us and I have a dessert in mind for them as well. Um, and then throughout the week, this doesn't necessarily mean this is the order we will prepare these things in, but I'm going to make a chicken pot pie one night. That's a really good thing that we haven't had in over a year. Beef tips and gravy, that's not really my kind of meal, but we have beef tips in the freezer from a butcher box we got a couple of months ago, and I want to use them up, and Riley will like it. Then we're going to do the pretzel crusted chicken with honey mustard sauce. That is a delicious recipe that I haven't made in a while. And then we're going to do zucchini noodles with spaghetti, spaghetti sauce and some meatballs. So it should be a good, easy week as far as meals are concerned. Hey guys, I just finished up with my grocery order. I was going to do it for tomorrow morning, but there wasn't anything available. So I did it for Saturday morning early, like at 8 a.m. But that'll be great because that'll still be before we dive into our day on Saturday. So today's been a really good day. I'm pretty much exhausted. I'm just winding down here for a few minutes. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, see you soon.